Hello, welcome to the course QSAL with Python. In this series of lecture, I'm going to um, present how you can develop QSA model using Python. So in this lecture, QSA is the main topic. And QSA is short for quantitative structure, activity, relationship. So um, in this first week, you will learn what structure means and what activity um, can be used in QSA model development. Here, I simplify the QSA model with this function f. The QSA model is like a function, but it takes its variable. Um, the structure will be the variable of this function. So traditionally, let's say this compound has a toxic effect. And in a um, traditional way, toxicity of the chemical should be um, evaluated through animal testing. But as time goes on and research um, of uh, results were accumulated, now we have plenty of data. And now we can use that data to develop this model and predict toxicity of the chemical. So this is one example of QSA model. So what it does is this structure is inputted to the model and this model will provide the a target endpoint. So here endpoint means this value which I'm trying to predict from the model. So QSA model takes structure as an input which is x of this function and output of this function will be endpoint. In this example, toxicity. So um, we will learn what sort of data we need and how the data should be formatted and um, how we can find the best function to predict activity or toxicity of the chemical. So um, in the next lecture, I'll show you um, the structure, file format for the structure and um, data format from the example software.